time for Writing in the Sand. It's a writer's retreat that's happening from the 15th to the 17th of February in Tobago. Quite moving as well, I have to say. And this morning joining us on the show, we have Kevin Fortune. Kevin is the Public Relations and Marketing Officer and Writer-in-Residence, author Leeson Allen Agostini. Good morning to both of you and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you both good. doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Kevin, how are you going? Doing quite well. Thanks for asking. Well, you both look quite serene, so thanks for getting up at such an early hour to share with us writing in the sand. Kevin, let's start with you. What inspired this retreat? Because this is something I think a bit new to our shows in Trinidad and Tobago, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you're quite right. And that was indeed part of the inspiration. And um, also, that old saying that, you know, those who can't do teach, um, this don't who can't do facilitate, because I've been trying to write and sit down and get settled for a long time. So I'm thinking, you know what, there are a lot of other souls like me who would love to take that time, set it apart and focus on writing, focus on their craft. And it seems that um, it definitely has garnered a lot of support. So that was one of the things that was needed. There was a vacuum for it. And we wanted to provide a space for that in Trinidad and Tobago. Interesting. So possible inspiration by writer's block. Is that something <laughs> as well? <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Now, Lisa, thanks so much for being with us as well this morning. So tell us, you are the writer in residence. That sounds like it could be an um, interesting and hefty responsibility. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> well, it's not my first uh, rodeo. Uh, I was previously a writer in residence at um, St. George's University in Grenada during a, a writing fellowship I got there. Um, and, uh, well, a residency I got there, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's... it's um, it's a good gig, you know, to work with people who are trying to bring out their best, um, to help them develop their craft, to help them look at their work differently, um, and maybe, you know, encourage them to try some different things, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. perhaps. Um, yeah, it's a good gig. I enjoy it. Do you um, feel like being a writer in residence is, helps you as well? Because, of course, being um, an international author you may have experienced perhaps a few blocks, maybe looking for some inspiration. Are you able to draw from this? Yeah, I'm, I, I would say I'm, un, I'm like not blocked. <laughs> I mean, like every writer goes through peaks and, 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 and valleys, you know, it's, it's, part of the, it's part of the journey as a writer. Sometimes you're writing, sometimes you're not. Um, I try to look at it as um, a give and take, you know, the whole idea of teaching writing and facilitating um, other writers, it's, it's, it's a give and take because I myself have been taught, you know, by, I have had wonderful mentors, I've had wonderful people who have, you know, looked at my work and really, you know, shook it up, um, you know, not the least of which B.C. Paris, for example, who, um, my most recent novel, he was amazing, you know, in helping me edit that. And so um, I... It's, it's a give and take. Sometimes you're on the receiving end, sometimes you're on the giving end. And I really, like I said before, it's something I really enjoy. It sounds like a really fulfilling experience. So, Kevin, let's go back to you for a moment. This writer's retreat, there's a lot involved in this. Can you share with us some of the elements that people are going to be able to experience? Yes. So it is pretty much jam-packed with uh, um, the events that we have. So, as you said, Lisa Allen, Allen Agostini is going to be leading um, with doing writing prompts, doing one-on-ones with the individual um, participants because part of the process is that you have to submit a manuscript that you're working on um, thus far, so it can be prose or poetry. So that is submitted beforehand. Lisa looks at it, and when you come, um, you will have a one-on-one -on -one session where you sit with her, as well as the group will be also doing workshops with each other's works. Um, we know that environment is quite important to create in that, you know, safe and nurturing space. Mm -hmm. So we chose Charlottesville to be was going to be at the Manowar Cottages, which is literally right on Manowar B. So that 
kind of creates that space for us. And we also included mindfulness sessions with Mama Yoga Organics out in Tobago. I'm so excited to partner with her. And so there will be um, a session on mindfulness with creativity. And as well as we are going to go out into nature, do a couple of hikes, um, et cetera. And so it's really uh, all inclusive, if I could use that carnival term, because we're in the midst of carnival, a really an all inclusive writing uh, retreat event. And so we're very excited. I'm hearing all the use of the elements there and particular attention being paid to mindfulness, which is so important in the creative process. Lisa, how do you feel about all of these elements being incorporated into the retreat? Is this something that you have experienced before? As you mentioned, of course, you worked with the University of Grenada as a writer for writers in retreat as well. So how do you feel about this particular one? Um, no, I was a writer in residence in, in at the university, but I've I've been um I've been a participant Sorry. in a number of writing retreats myself. And um like for example, I did one with um Loretta Collins Clover and um Monique Roffey um and Kai Miller in Toko in Grand River. Mm -hmm. And um it you know, it, it's it's something it's something beautiful. It's something you will remember for the rest of your life as a writer. Um, even if you don't actually have a, a wonderful creative experience there, it always triggers something. It always is like a touch point in your creative career, honestly. I'm not just saying that to get people to come to this workshop. I'm saying that as a writer who's done this kind of thing before. Um, and, and those breaks away from the writing are in, incredible. They're invaluable it's something that you can't um you can't actually um quantify how they affect the writing but they do it, it's it's in yoga i don't know if you've ever done yoga but after you've done the practice there's a moment you have to sit down or lie down and allow it to kind of take and those kinds of moments within a retreat um are that <laughs> they really are. So, you know, all the walks that we go to, you know, bathing in the sea and doing the yoga, whatever mindfulness practice, I anticipate all of those things are just going to heighten the experience for the participants. It sounds like it. It sounds absolutely amazing. I have to say, you sort of sent me to a space there and painted an incredible visual picture of what is taking place. Now, something that I know many people are wondering right now, when we hear writers retreat, we automatically honestly think of people who may be experienced, such as yourself. But what about those newbies? Are they also um, able to participate in this retreat? Yeah, absolutely. It's for all levels of writers. Um, what you bring to it is what you get out of it, obviously. But um, uh, in, I mean, what intensity and what intention you bring to it is what you will get out of it. If you come for a holiday weekend, you'll get a holiday weekend. If you come to work, you will work. You know what yeah. I mean? But it doesn't matter the level of writing you're at. I will engage with you. I've worked with writers who are published, unpublished. I've worked with young people who write. I've worked with um, people who write as a hobby. I've worked with people who write professionally. Uh, you know, I've, I, I, I entong long. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, That's where energy goes, energy <laughs> definitely flows. So tell us something, Kevin. Where can we get more information? Uh, you can follow both our social media. So Lisa, um, well, I'll start with mine. So it's Kevin Fortune one That's on IG, right? And you can also follow Lisa and Alan Agassini. She can plug hers as well. Um, also, my number is 6800346. And anyone wants to email as well, it's Kevin Brian Fortune at Gmail. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kevin Fortune and Lisa Allen Agostina. It's been a blessing to have you on the show with us this morning. Wishing you all success and some high vibrations for your writing in the sand writers retreat. I'm looking forward to more to come. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you, you so too. much. Welcome, well, I won't say welcome back to the Now Morning Show. <laughs> this is how you know it's live TV. That was Writing in the Sun, Writer's Retreat from February 15th to 17th. Stay tuned, there's a lot more coming up.